Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this Softube's Console One Fader. But instead of this being a review on just this unit alone, I'm going to show you this in action alongside the Console One channel, the original unit here, in Studio One using the Studio One remote. This system I've been using now for about a month and I've fallen in love with it. So let me show you around the face of this unit um, while I'm mixing a song. So let's get to this. First though, let me just quickly show you how you can navigate your sessions and your tracks using this particular setup. Now you may notice that the Console One Fader doesn't have a scribble strip, which at first I thought would be a bit of a limitation, but it's not if you use something like this iPad app here. So let's say I want to find my acoustic guitar track. Well, I can click it here. I can see it very clearly on the app. And it will show me down here, that's the track I'm selected on. Or I could be over here on the fader going, what's this track? Look over here, I know it's the piano. Very easy to get around that way. Now we've got the display console UI at the top here. This doesn't respond to mouse clicks and it can be hidden very easily up here or brought back into focus. Or we can toggle through different view modes here. So this is the new one for console one fader. Again, if you wasn't too sure what your fader was here, you could click and it will show you at the bottom there, a little blue indicator under the meter. And we can move across to some other views. I quite like this one, it's a meter bridge view. Uh, again, we can just click on a fader, it shows us what fader that corresponds to, while also leaving me quite a lot of the Studio One window in view still. Now for regular visitors of the blog, you may know that I'm a Pro Tools user. Well, I've been getting into the Studio One world with this particular setup because the Console One Fader works very, very well with Studio One, um, also other DAWs like Cakewalk and Cubase and some others as well, because Console One Fader lets us do this, control the faders in the mixer, which is very, very cool. It doesn't do this in Pro Tools, but you can only have this control over faders and we've got control for first three sends as well and pan you can only have that control if you've got the console one plugin inserted at the top it looks like this and we never use it we just load it in close it down and work with our hands right here with these two units so let's put this to work got some transport here which is nice as well start play and stop let's get cracking on that guitar it sounds nice it's this one filters here on a push-pull basis. It's a low cut. Long ago, I was High cut. Told I should remember. Nice way of working. That I was born in Let's add a little bit of reverb. Got this already set up on an effects bus. Ascent. People pass through here every day. Jump on that vocal. From San Francisco. Monterey on their way to Hollywood. Get some compression Port going. Santa Barbara. Well, I was young when you can I see up here, game reduction. On Mary. A little bit of top end. She was just like the songs that About I a bit of delay. used to hear on Sunday. Just a touch. A bit of reverb. I'd have followed that girl to the edge of the world. Climb right over. Gonna add drive here on the fader. Well, I could tell she felt about me. That's nice. The same Change way. the tone of that drive for the character. San Luis Obispo. Darken it up a bit. What it is, I don't. Maybe a bit of drive on that acoustic guitar. But I don't feel the way I used to anymore. Back to volume. San Luis Obispo. Maybe I should let you go. Back off that delay a touch. But I don't know where to run to anymore. Let's keep going. Let's move on to the bass. Well, I was told that I look just like my father. At a low end. Standing nervous in Las Vegas, Nevada. Bit of compression. Waiting for Mary to walk down the aisle 
Wish he'd have been there to give me a smile But he died before I could tell him All that I wanted Lovely now, let's jump back over to the display. So we can see what we're doing if we wish. It's all there. Nine months later, we had a baby daughter. I keep working on that lead vocal. And I took two jobs at minimum wage. Working evenings and... Just a bit of top end for presents. Nothing too much. Find a way we could keep our head above water. I know there's a backing vocal coming in. San Luis Obispo. What it is I don't... So you have to make sure you're selected on the track that you want to use this with. the way I used to anymore. San Luis Obispo. Maybe I should let you A bit of reverb as well on that vocal But I don't know where to run to anymore Anyway, I hope that quick demonstration gives you a good idea of what the Console 1 fader is all about, especially when paired up with the original Softube Console 1 channel. Do click that card at the top right of the screen or the link in the description below if you'd like to find out our verdicts and also for more information on the Console 1. Now, quick spoiler alert, I feel that this Console 1 fader is so good that I'm seriously considering replacing my old C24 underneath it here with two of these with the console. Oh yes, you can use more than just one of these. Yeah, it's a very exciting prospect for me. To find out more information on that, again, do click that card at the top right of the screen. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.